wanted to share a thought with you this morning, and uh, I was thinking about the law of attraction and the power of the law of attraction, and everybody talks about the law of attraction and how amazing it is, and that you just think things, you know, you'll get them, but if you were driving down the road and there was a radio station, let's say you're listening to like some happy music on a radio station, you're like, hey, yeah, this is just fun, I'm just grooving along listening to this music, and then suddenly you're like, hey, you know, I'd like to change the station to be something else. I'd like to listen to something a little more jazzy, a little more bouncy. You might, if you're into the law of attraction, think, hey, you know, I am going to think about, oh, universe, yes, thank you for bringing me this jazzy music. I'm so excited. I'm so grateful to receive this jazzy music that's soon coming into my life. Oh, yes, universe, thank you for bringing this into my life. Now, that's not to say that prayer is bad, would you do that or would you just reach down and change the station? And the thing is, it's hard sometimes in life. It's not as easy as reaching down and changing the station. It takes a lot of effort sometimes to switch the direction or to change the direction that things are going in. And it can take a crazy amount of effort and a crazy amount more than you thought possible of yourself in order to do this. And I'm speaking from my own experience on this. That having been said, the way to get change in your life is to change. And along the way, mosquitoes will come and try and bite you. And along the way, there will be things that just try and stop you from doing that. But the way to change the situation is not, I mean, is first to think about the change and to be grateful for the change before it happens. But then reach down and change the station. Do something different so that you can have a different result.